Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today we got two more games in the Chicago White Sox 2020 season. Today we are going to be playing a two game set against the Toronto Blue Jays. So uh, here's the first screen. You can see we've got it's going to be Chase Anderson against Ronaldo Lopez. So. Let me turn down the sound and then we'll get into this. So there we go. And uh, human for us, computer for them. Yes, yes, everything looks good. Yes. So let's do it. And uh, let me move myself up here a little bit, okay? And we got, we're pitching to Bichette. We got uh, Lopez pitching to Bichette, and he's going to fly out. Bo Bichette down, and uh, Jay Davis. I don't know who Jay Davis is. But he's going to fly out to left. However, maybe not, because Menez is out there. And he did let the ball drop. So Davis is on board. We're going to um, watch him. Oh, no, I guess we were automatically watching him. So Vlad Guerrero is up and he just stole second. But Vladdy, Vladdy strikes out. Little Vlad is gone. And that brings up Randall Grichik. And he's going to hit a ground ball to short. That is Anderson, and hopefully he makes the play. No, he did not. So we got runners at the corners with two down, and Lords Goriel up, and he is going to be out. So we got out of the inning, but, you know, a little too close for my comfort. Anderson is going to lead off the bottom of the first by grounding out. Lewis Robert is up. We'll have him swing away, and he strikes out. Two down. And that brings up Moncada. And Moncada is going to hit a single. So he keeps the inning going. That's nice. That's something. And Canarcion is up. And he is going to hit a ground ball short. Bichette is a three. And that was it. He's safe. Close call, but he's safe. And that brings up Abreu. Come on, Abreu. Singles, maybe the run comes home. It does. So we have a one nothing lead and Grand all up, but he's going to fly out and end rally. Nice two out rally there, though. That brings up Teoscar Hernandez, who is flying out. So Lopez, we're going to need a good outing today, for Lopez. McKinney um, is up and he walks. Billy McKinney, I think. That brings up Jansen, and Jansen's flying to center field. So there is two down in the second inning. And that brings up Urena. And Urena strikes out. So we have. Jimenez leading off for us. And he strikes out. A lot of strikeouts in this game. Both pitchers are, are caying people left and right. Bring up Mazzara. Mazzara with a single. So Mazzara's aboard and Garcia is up and he is going to ground out. Ground ball. Two down, Timmy Anderson, and he flies out. Just under a seat. Just missed a seat. So that will be the uh, half inning for us, and now we're in the top of the third. Still holding a one nothing lead, and Bichette lines out. He's over two on the day. Uh, Lopez pitching great here. Walks Davis, though. Um, yeah, we'll let Davis do whatever he's going to do. We'll throw and see if we get him, but we don't. Just, you know, offhand. Guerrero is going to hit a 
ground ball. And he's out. So there are two down, and we're pitching to Gritch. And Gritchick just hit a two-run home run and gave Toronto a two-to-one run. Got him on one of my actual strat teams. Lord Zagoriel is flying out. But that was a little too late. As Toronto takes the 2-1 lead and we go to the bottom of the third, losing by a run with Lewis Robert up. And he strikes out. That brings up Moncada. And he's going to swing away. And he is out. And that brings up N. Canarsion. And he strikes out. So, Teoscar Hernandez is up. And he's out. McKinney, here we are in the top of the fourth. McKinney is out. He walked last time. And now that brings up Danny Jensen. And he is going to rip a single. So Jansen with the uh, two out single keeps the inning alive for Toronto. And that brings up Urena who strikes out. So again, Lopez pitching well, just he's on the losing end for the moment. And we got to hope we can remedy that with a break. He grounds to second. Let's see what happens there. He's out. And that brings up Grandall. Grandall is out. I mean, I can't really say we weren't getting the rolls because we were. Jimenez, and Jimenez is going to strike out Chase Anderson. So Chase Anderson and Lopez locked in a pitcher's duel here with Bichette up at the plate. And he strikes out. Brings up uh, J.D. Day. I think it's J.D. Davis. And he will fly out. And that brings up Vlad, Vlad, Vladdy, Vlad Guerrero Jr. And he's out. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. We just need a run to tie and two to go ahead. Mazzara up and walking. So he might be able to help us out here. Garcia, but no, Garcia strikes out. One away, Tim Anderson up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Luis Robert, and he singles. So now we have two runners on with two down. I'm just going to hold them because 65 ain't that good. And Moncada, well, I was going to say Moncada could do something, but striking out wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Gritchick is up, and he is going to single. Which brings up Briel. And he walks. Now Lopez is hit a little rough patch here. The Oscar Hernandez is up, and ground ball to short. Hopefully um, Anderson can play that. No. All right, uh, yeah, let's just pitch to McKinney for right now. And of course he gets the single. Jansen. Jansen ripping that same double. Except, uh, well, it, really it's a single, but it's a single two. Two bases, all right, I'm going to go get him. Um, We're going to bring in Benuelos because I'm not real, uh, not real optimistic about this game. So now the score is 6 1. And uh, Bechette's out. So that's two down. J.D. Davis up at the plate, and he's going to ground out, but the score is 6-1. to one. 
So Encarnacion is up, and he is singling. I mean, you know, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Abreu is up, and he strikes out. That brings up Grandal, and Grandal strikes out. And that brings up Jimenez, and he is out. So, I mean, Agar's just not hitting today. I mean, not only did Lopez not pitch well, which didn't help, but we're just not hitting. Guerrero Jr. is going to fly out. Brings up Grichik. Grichik strikes out. And Guriel. Guriel is out. That brings up Mazzara. Seventh thing. He's ripping a double. No, he's not. He's hit, hitting a single. It could be a double, but I'm going to say no because we need base runners. Garcia's up. And he walks. So maybe we can start something against Chase Anderson here. And uh, Anderson's up. Anderson versus Anderson. And that's a strikeout. So there's one out. Lewis Robert up. And he is going to double and knock in at least one run. And let's see. We'll send the lead runner. Yeah, we'll send the lead runner at 85%. We'll hold the trailing runner. And Anderson's tired. There's still only one out. And now it is six to three. Let's see if they take him out. And they do. They're going to bring in uh, somebody else. I, don't, I can't read the name. Got a fly ball center field. Moncada, that's going to be an out. No, oh, Gavilio. That's Gavilio that they brought in. And Canarcion. Come on, man. You could jack Gavilio. Maybe not. So it's six to three now. Um, a little better, but still not what you would call good. And that's going to be a fly out for Teoscar Hernandez. Benuelos, though, man, you remember Benuelos has a start this year in which he pitched pretty well for us, and here he's pitching pretty well, too. I'm pretty impressed. And now Danny Jansen. Of course, Danny Jansen just jacked. No sooner do I say that, and then Danny Jansen takes him out behind the woodshed. And not only that, but it's Danny Jansen. So uh, we got Urena. Flying out, but now it is seven to three. We're gonna need a nice big comeback here. Home run by Abreu. It's seven to four. Not too bad. Not too Shadman. That brings up Grand Doll. So seven to four. We're down by three, and he strikes out. Jimenez swinging away and singling. And that brings up Mazzara. And Mazzara is going to hit a two run jack. And now we're right back in this thing. I think we're right back in this. What do you think? So, yeah, six, seven to six, and Garcia up and striking out. That's two down, and Tim Anderson, and he strikes out. But now we got something to play for here. So I am going to definitely take Benuelos out because I don't think we're going to survive too much longer on that. And we'll bring in Marshall. Although, you know, as soon as I say that, you know, Benuelos was pitching great. And, in, you know, the rule of thumb is don't pit, take out a guy that's pitching great. And, of course, Marshall leads off by walking Bichette. And we're going to throw for him. And he's safe. So, J.D. Davis is up, and he strikes out. One down with Bichette at second. Guerrero up. 
and he walks. That brings up Gritchick. And Gritchick is going to fly out, thankfully. That could have been devastating. And that brings up Goriel, the words Goriel, and he strikes out. So we got a chance here. We got a real chance. We could score one run and tie the game, or we could score two and win it, walk away and win. And uh, we're going to get the home run that ties the game. I'll tell you that much. Lewis Robert tying it up. What a comeback. This has been a crazy good comeback. Moncada, I wish he could hit a home run, too, and just send everybody home. But he is going to hit a double. And with Encarnacion up, you do not sacrifice. He'll strike out. That brings up the Brayu. And the Brayu is going to hit a fly ball. So up steps the Grand Doll Man, and he strikes out, but we did tie the game. And T. Oscar Hernandez is leading off for them, and is going to be out? Yes. Billy McKinney. What? Billy McKinney hits a double. That brings up Danny Jensen, and he flies out, so there's two down. And up steps Urena, and he will fly out. So Jimenez up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get a run. Just, you know, a home run, whatever. I'll take it. Ground ball to the shortstop. That's Bichette. Let's see if he can uh, throw the ball away. And he does. And that brings up Mazzara, who is three for three with a home run. Mazzara hits into a double play. Man. All right. Garcia up. And he is going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop as well. And that's the end of that. So now we go to the top of the 10th with Bichette up, and he is going to hit the ball to Grandall, who should make the play. And does. J.D. Davis is going to ground ball, and then we're going to have to take Marshall out probably after this inning, because, you know, just for reality purposes. And then, oh, uh, no. Guerrero hits a home run. So they're ahead now, and Grichik is up, and he lines out. But now we need another run just to tie the game. Yeah, I know Marshall's tired, and I intend to take him out if we score a run here. That's going to be a single for Tim Anderson, but I may have to try to steal. Depends on what the chances are. No, I'll just leave him there. Single one to five, and it comes through. Robert hits a single. And I am going to send him the extra base. So now we've got a chance, a real good chance to tie the game. And they're going to bring in Giles to pitch to Moncada, who is going to hit a three-run home run and send us home winners. So that was a, that was a great comeback. I mean, I liked it. I don't know if anybody else out there did. So let's get the box score for that bad boy. That was nice. 10-8 win. Huge 10-8 win. All right, so let's go. We will play day again. And it's Dylan Cease going up against Rourke. I, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put McCann in at catcher for 
for Grand Doll. Or play it. Day game, love it. Day game after a night game. Day night double header. Walk for Bichette, though, to lead off. Brings up Biggio, and he walks. Maybe it's a very good thing we had that comeback in game one, because game two is starting out looking not so good. Ground ball to short, that's Anderson. He's out at first. Runners are at the corners with Grichik up and one out, and he strikes out. So Cease has a chance to do just exactly what Lopez did last game in the first inning and get out of it. But he walks Scurriel, so the bases are now loaded with Teoscar Hernandez up, and he walks, so he walks a run in. And then McKinney's up, and McKinney strikes out. So he does fine to get them out, but not before they score a run, and then Anderson leads off for us, striking out. Uh, Roberts up. He's going to single. Nice to see him get aboard. And he's 80%. I'm going to try to steal him. And he makes it. And so Mancata's up. And he's single, so that might be a tie game. 80%? Yeah, I'm sending the lead runner. And I'm going to send the trailing runner, too. Well, I guess the trailing runner was thrown out. So, and Canarcion is up and he's out. So it would have been a uh, would have been a double play anyway. Danny Jansen leads off in the top of the second and he gets a single. He's been a thorn in our side so far. Urena's up and Urena flies out. So there's one away. With a man at first in the top of the second in a 1 1 game. Bichette's up and Bichette strikes out. And that brings up Biggio. And Biggio walks. So there's two men on and two out. And Guerrero up. And Guerrero is hitting the catcher card. And that's going to be a pass ball or something. So, But there's a strikeout. Cabrero strikes out, and he gets out of the inning. Which leads off Abreu for us with a single one, and he's going to get it. He's going to get that single. Nice. McCann up, and McCann strikes out. And I think that probably was a hitter walkout. Jimenez is up, and Jimenez is going to hit a single. So we got two aboard with one out. Mazzara, who had a great game last game, strikes out. So there's two down. And Lurie Garcia. He hits the ball to second, and that's Biggio. And he makes the play. So still 1-1, one, one. Grichik up and striking out. Guriel up, and he is going to be out. And that brings up the Oscar Hernandez, who is going to be out. Can't get the ball past Mazzara. So we got Timmy Anderson leading off in the bottom of the third inning, and he is out. Lewis Roberts up. He hits a fly ball to the center, and that's a four, so that looks like that might be a nice hit, maybe a double. No, he makes the running catch. <laughs> Moncada is up. And he strikes out. So that's it. We go to the top of the fourth. Game's moving right along, 1-1, one, one, and there's a leadoff single for Billy McKinney. Jansen is going to hit the ball to short. He's a three. 
and uh, he doesn't make the play. And now there's going to be a big punt, and they're going to move runners over to second and third or try to, and they do it. And what happened there? No out. And now a home run, I mean, it just ring and pouring and all kinds of stuff. So he's going to double in two runs. Or maybe three. I don't know. I don't exactly know what happened there. Maybe he doubled. Maybe that guy bunted. The bunt was good. And then we threw it away and moved him a second. That's probably what happened. So Guerrero is up and he walks and, you know, Cease is just falling apart. So I'm going to go get Cease and we are going to bring in. And really having Rodan on the roster was a, a waste. I don't even, I didn't notice that. But we're going to go get. Um, Well, you know what? We have Rodon. We might as well use him. No, no, we can't. We can't. He wouldn't be back yet in reality. So um, we're going to go get uh, Bummer. I guess we'll go get Bummer. I mean, it's too early for really any of these guys. And I was hoping that the other guy that I brought up but now nah, there's the pass ball. I mean, this is just really all going to hell in a handbasket. And Guriel is up with one out. He'll hit the ball to Anderson, who will probably make a bad play again, and he does. So, yeah, it's raining and pouring and all kinds of bad stuff here. I'm going to have to send the whole probably bullpen down after this game. That's two down and Billy McKinney up. And that's going to be a single. And Danny Jansen is up. And he's grounding out finally. And it is seven to one. So in can our CO. I mean, we were down seven to one last time, but you know, you can only pull that rabbit out of your hat so many times. And Canarcion flies out. Abreu is up. And he's going to ground out to short. And McCann is up. And he's flying out. So that's it. That's all she wrote right there. And uh, Urena is going to lead off and strike out. Bichette is up, and he singles. Biggio is up, and that's going to be whatever that's going to be, because he was swinging away. And there's two down with Guerrero up and a man on, and he walks, so there's two on. And Grichik up. And Grichik is out. So that's that. And Jimenez is up. Bottom of the fifth. Strikeout. Mazzara is up. That's going to be a single. That's going to be a single. Again, the journey of a thousand miles. Beginning with a step and Lurie Garcia up. Not taking a step though, striking out. And that brings up Timmy Anderson. And he singles. So now this would be a perfect time right here for somebody to hit a three run home run or a single and keep the game going. I am going to say. Hold runners because we need runs. We need base runners and runs. We don't really need. And that's exactly what we need. 
a nice four run jack, a grand salami to make the score seven to five. That's what I'm talking about. And now Encarnacion, and he's going to hit a ground ball to second. And that's going to be an. Yeah, he's on base. So come on, Abreu, man. You could tie the game. Or you could hit a single and just keep the inning going. And they're keeping Rourke out there. They're keeping a tired Rourke out on the mound with McCann up. And he's doubling in a run. And it's, I think it's 7 to 6, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I'm going to send the lead runner. It's seven to seven. Nice. I can't believe this. We've done it twice in a row. Or at least we've come back twice in a row. I don't know if we're going to win this game, but I like our chances a little better now. And that's a base hit. And, uh, yeah. Nice. All righty. Let's see what Mazzara can do. Nothing. But you know what? We took the lead. It's uh it's eight seven. And Bummer is still out there giving us the old college try. And that's gonna be an out for Guriel, so yeah. I mean the more innings he can get us, the better. Teoscar Hernandez, ground ball first base, and he's out. And that brings up Ben McKinney. But he strikes out. Gotta love it. So Lurie is up. Bottom of the sixth. Single. Man, I had no idea Toronto's pitching was this bad. Tim Anderson. And he is going to hit a two run home run. Yes, indeed. You gotta love it. I mean, this is just crazy. Never would I have thought that I would come back from seven runs, six or seven runs down twice in a row against any team. And Lewis Robert is up, and they're going to take Schaefer out and bring in Gavilio again. Gavilio with all those innings as just a reliever. Lewis Roberts out, and that brings up Moncada. He's going to swing away. And he is out. And I'm probably going to take Bummer out now because I can. Oh, wait. Incarnacion. I thought that was the uh, last out. But no. And no. So he's going to be out. But we have a 10 to 7 lead, my friends. And we're going to go get Bummer. And we are going to bring in Herrera. I mean, I may be burning through the bullpen, but this is going to be worth it. Because it's going to potentially be two straight wins against the team we should beat. Fly ball right field X to Mazzara. Is he going to make the play? No. So, man on, one out, Bichette up, and Bichette, oh, man, I should have made a defensive replacement, you know? Ball's in front of him, of course. Uh, Biggio's up, and that's going to be an out, ground ball B. And uh, they didn't get any runs there? Hmm. I don't know what happened, but we got out of the inning somehow. And Abreu is up. And he is out. So we're here in the bottom of the seventh. McCann is up. And he's going to hit a ground ball to the pitcher. And he's on. Nice. Jimenez is up. 
Jimenez is going to hit it into a double play, though, and end the inning. So we go to the top of the eighth. Guerrero up, and I'm going to keep Herrera out there, but he walks Guerrero. He, he might get tired quickly here, and he is, but I'm going to keep him out there still. And that's going to be a ground ball double play. And that brings up Guerrero, and he flies out. Now I will take him out next inning, probably bring in C-Shack. Mazzara up, and he strikes out. Garcia is up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Timmy A, TA7. And he is going to potentially ground out. And he is. All right, now I am going to bring in a defensive replacement and a different pitcher. We'll bring in c -Sheck to pitch for Herrera, and we are going to bring in Engel to play, um, I'm going to say right field for Mazzara. And he Oscar up and grounding out, I hope. Yes. McKinney hits, he rips a double, though. Double in the gap for McKinney. Dan Jensen up, and they're going to pinch hit McGuire for Jensen. And he hits a two-run home run. All right, so it is 6, 8, 9. It's 10 to 9. Urena up, and he strikes out. So she sects his one out away from getting the save, even though he doesn't really deserve it. Oh, man. I'm going to keep him out there. I like to live on the edge. And he's out. So that is, he does get the save. He didn't, like I said, deserve it, but he does get it. And we win both games against Toronto, both times coming back from six or seven runs down and winning both games. Love it. So uh, I want to remind everybody, if you like this video, Hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment. But for right now, it's Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.